Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the BTN HD, and today we have an unboxing slash upgrade on one of my PC builds that I did with you guys on 2016. The machine is still up and running. I cannot believe it. Uh, it it's running a GTX 970. It was one of my VR ready performance builds, but I'm not really using it for VR. I'm actually using it for video editing, and it's a champ. So I wanted to upgrade that particular PC with the ASUS PCE AC56 dual band wireless card. I did a lot of research, uh, a lot of good things about it, and I want to test it out. One of the cool things about it, it does come with a uh, mountable magnetic uh, antenna. I don't know if I'm going to take the two dual band antennas and use this, but most likely I might, you know, insert them on the adapter. Who knows? So let's unbox this guy and see what's inside the box. We're going to get the old PC. We're going to open it up, insert it, install the drivers, and get it up and running and see how well it works. All right, so what comes inside the box? Uh, let me just close this up. Safety first. <laughs> so we have the beautiful PCE. Uh, AC56 from ASUS. This is our PCIe adapter. Cool. We have the two little screws right here or the kind of ports that allows us to insert or screw in our antenna. I don't know if I'm going to do it this route or I'm going to use uh, you know, little portable magnet. It is magnetic. Boop. And most likely I could take both antennas, hook it up here. And then slap it on the side of the PC case. And then take these two screws right here and then place it here. I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, it's kind of iffy. It really depends if, if I insert it this way and I hook it up on the computer. See if it picks up my wireless access point. If it's not strong enough, most likely I'm going to use this and just you know rearrange it to the point that I have the strongest signal. We do have a quick start guide, you have your warranty, you have your CD to get your drivers. Most likely I'm not going to use this, I could just go inside the site and download the latest and greatest drivers and then install it that way. Uh, primary operating system is going to be Windows 10 and then we have a uh, having trouble call support. Yeah, uh, might, most likely I won't do that. I would try to troubleshoot it and fix it myself before I even call anyone. But uh, we're going to get the PC. I'm going to open it up. I know the PC is really old. I definitely need to clean it up. And then we are going to hook it up, boot the machine up. And most likely Windows 10 is going to pick up uh, this new device. It's going to try to install the drivers for us. I might have to stop it, go inside the ASUS site, download the drivers, and do it that way manually. And uh, let's uh, get the PC and open it up. All right, so I open up my PC tower. And I uh, use the air can right here to like, you know, clear some of the dust. I'm still going to do a little bit more work behind the scenes to clean it up. But I did locate the PCIe uh, port, which is this guy right here. I'm going to use this little guy so I don't have to touch it. So this is where I'm going to insert right here, this guy right here. That's where I'm going to insert the wireless uh, PCIe card. And uh, this is the slot that I need to unscrew. So when I insert it, the two ports, the two antenna ports are going to stick out from the back side. So I could either screw in the antennas or screw in the, you know, the mountable magnetic thing. Cool. Now, I did forget to tell you guys one thing. Inside the box, you do have this little, uh, uh, I would call it plate, right? You are able to unscrew these two little guys right here and then change this long plate to this short one. I am going to keep the long one that came with it by default. It does fit, you know, the back panel of my PC tower. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna get my screwdriver or my little multi-purpose uh, tool. Find my Phillips. And I'm gonna unscrew this guy right here. I'm gonna keep the screw because I'm gonna need it to lock it down. I'm going to, I need it to you, you know, I need to use it to lock down the wireless card. Cool. All right, cool, 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 cool. 
right here. I'm gonna line it up, right? And I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure at the end of the card and the, you know, at the very, you know, the beginning or, you know, at the top, at the bottom, and then firmly just put a little pressure. And it should easily just slide in there. Boom, done. Boom, that was, just wanna make sure it's nice and secure. I'm gonna take the little uh, screwdriver. I'm gonna lock it in. I'm gonna, we're going to put the side panel on the PC tower. Lock it up. Boot it up. Most likely, Windows 10 is going to pick up the new uh, PCIe card, which is the wireless card. And it's uh, like I said before, it might start installing it. I don't want that. I'm going to go online, get the latest drivers, put it on a flash drive, insert it inside the tower, install it, and then do all the manual stuff. Uh, we're going to see. So uh, let's uh, boot this machine up, get inside the desktop, and see what happens. All right, so I placed the side panel on my PC, screwed it in. There goes our uh, wireless adapter, our wireless card, actually. So I decided to use this guy. Boom. I was like, why not? This looks pretty cool because I could do boom. Kind of magnetic, right? Put it right there. That looks pretty awesome. Right? Why not? So let's uh, take this guy off. Doesn't matter which way or which, you know, which one goes where. And screw this guy here. Cool. Let's take the other one. Do the same thing. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. Cool. Then we're going to take our two antennas and we're just basically going to just insert them here, like this. That's one. And then we have the second one, which is like right here. Super simple. Again, you are able to just take the antennas and just put them directly on the card. But, uh, you know, they gave us this little magnetic station for the you know for the antennas why not use it so boom boom i'm gonna slap it here like this right you guys probably can't see it but i will show you well i'll show you right here like boom it's magnetic right, cool you basically take it you can put it to the side or on the back i'm definitely not going to put it right here uh most likely i'm going to put it to on the back side or you can actually put it like right here that's pretty cool Right there. All right, so now I'm ready to boot this machine up and uh, install the drivers to get it up and running with wireless. All right, so I was a little late. Uh, Windows 10 automatically installed the wireless adapter for us. Uh, it's right here. It's already ready for me to click on it and uh, pick my wireless access point, which is BTN HD. It kind of sucks because I want it to actually install it manually. You are able to do it. Uh, you, you know, you, you're still able to go on, you know, on the website, which we're going to do right now. And I'm going to, let's go to Google. Actually, I can't do Google because I'm not connected to anything. So let me connect to the wireless, right? Let me enter my password. I don't remember it. Awesome. I'm connected. I should have wireless connection right now. Awesome. Let's go to... Google, because the w the way that Windows 10 installs the drivers is basically gives you the generic stuff, right? But if you want the latest one to support your, your wireless adapter, I would say do a Google search of, you know, our model was what? Uh, the PC, PCE dash AC 56 driver, there it goes. Make sure that you are going to the ASUS site. You're not going to like driver easy. That's a no-no, right? So let's click on that. All right, so once you land on the site, the first thing you want to do is locate the support. Click on support. Support should take you here and you wanna go inside driver and tools. And let's see what we have. It's gonna pick, you know, it wants you to pick what operating system. My operating system is Windows 10 64 bit. So you're gonna hit that. And you have two, you have your utilities and you have your wireless adapter. Now, I would definitely download both of them. So I would download this one. 
and we are going to click here save as I'm going to drop it to the desktop awesome and the next one is let's download this as well come on what is this okay so this is basically a document okay plug and play right so it looks like it is Windows 10 plug and play so the drivers that Windows 10 provides uh, this particular Asus uh, I think AC 1300 PCIe wireless adapter card should work with no problems who knew right Windows 10 actually does something right <laughs> but I do I want to take advantage of these utilities so let's close this up let's close this up and it is compressed inside a zip file so I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna use 7-zip and let's extract the files here it goes awesome I'm gonna delete this because I don't need it anymore double click on this awesome double click on that right click on the setup.exe file let's run it as an administrator click yes on that and let's see what happens and then hit next. Cool. Asus WLAN card utility setup. So technically, when you insert the adapter within a Windows 10 environment, it's a plug and play. You don't really need to do anything with the drivers, which is a good thing. But I I will recommend getting the utility because it does. It looks like it does give you some type of drivers. And next install utilities and drivers look at that okay so it looks like the utilities is completed and we're gonna hit finish on that most likely you might have to reboot the machine all right so it gives you this nice little utility that allows you to pick your wireless uh, SSID that's being broadcast uh, it's the same thing as just clicking on this so I don't really know if I really needed that it's kind of kind of silly to have an additional thing load up overall it, it looks like it's a plug and play with this particular adapter just insert it in launch your machine if you have Windows 10 boom good to go I believe if you have Windows 7 you might have to install this utility I don't know if I'm gonna keep the utility it's kinda of pointless because I am running Windows 10 as a plug and play it looks like Windows 10 is playing nice with it and I'm already up and running with no problem so I'm super happy so hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash uh, quick upgrade on one of my PC builds that I did for you guys in 2016. This guy is still going strong. I will place a link on that particular build at the bottom of the video, at the description, or at the comic section. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.